The new life balloon that ships with ZBrush 4R8 has caused a whole lot of heat online from video tutorials to speed ads to people requesting for how can I get this done and is this possible with the new ZBrush and in the previous video which I did showing how to make use of the array and the live boolean I got a comment from a viewer and the comment says that is the boolean by any way better than Houdini's new boolean system and can you do a comparison video of both I would have to say this this is going to be a very very unfair comparison So we have ZBrush 4R8 open and let's quickly open up with a cube. We'll make a double copy of that cube and it's a it's a poly 3D. Yes, I, I forgot that part. So we're going to pick the second one and make a multiple copy of the second one with the array mesh. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, position that scale the base and let's see what goes on from here. We're going to go up to the array and we're opening up a new array. We want to make actually four array for this video. If you want to see more videos about how to go with the array and the new ZBrush boolean, you got a link somewhere there. And so we have this. We can bevel the edges and we can also bevel the faces. So let's bevel this. And I think beveling the faces is quite better. Let's bevel the, the underneath face so that we can see that. So we actually set the other one to subtract. And now when you look at this, you're going to find out that we have a very nice subtracted surface with the bevel there. And you can actually modify this bevel. You can modify the tool. You can modify whatever you want. Very good thing about working with arrays is you just have to work on one and it applies to the other one so it's wonderful one other thing we're going to notice is after we're done with this we can see that the faces are not that nice which is forgivable especially if you're not using this for animation it's forgivable Houdini by default is seriously procedural so whatever you're doing is totally procedural we're going to start with a cube and we're going to throw a transform node we're going to also put a line and we're going to use that line to drive the other cubes contrary to the array mesh where we had to make a different cube here we're going to use just one cube and Houdini is going to read the instance of this cube and it's going to use it so we're going to use the lines to drive the new cube how do we do this we put a copy to points and we're going to copy we're going to copy the box to this point okay so once we do copy this box to point we can position these boxes where we want them to be we can drop them down and next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the boolean and we're going to add a boolean to this and then we'll set it to subtract now we have exactly the same thing which we had in zbrush but how is this a bit different from zbrush how why I actually said it was unfair from the beginning is this if for instance we were working with this cube and we want to bevel a certain point all we have to do is put the group and we'll bevel it if we want to step up one level to what we want uh, let's say we, we want to step up one level and recreate something else and without affecting any other thing we can go back and forth so it's non-destructive and we can also decide to say we want to change our boxes to a sphere we can change it to something else and automatically you see it happen on the fly and yeah i know some someone somewhere is gonna say what if you use something like the layer system that's when you're sculpting in zbrush and once you bake it you baked it and that's it you can go back and what if you use like nano mesh nano mesh is good zbrush could be procedural to a point when you're using the nano mesh or when you're using the array mesh but once you're done once you bake those things from BPR to Joe or once you bake those things out, you're done. You can't go back and that's it. I do not see a reason why the both of them should be compared here. So I would advise anyone who wants to go into like full head-on sculpting or full head-on uh, uh, hard surface modeling, go with ZBrush. Do it the ZBrush way, you know, but if you want to go into like uh some stuff that are very very procedural you want to go into modeling but you want to be able to take control of everything at every time your technical person your vfx supervisor or something like that 
then you can go with Houdini. Houdini would do that for you more than any other app out there. Yeah, we know Cinema 4D does that. Yeah, we know Maya does that. Yeah, we know 3D Studio Max does that. We know Blender does that. But no one is going to handle your stuff in a more procedural way like Houdini will. Hi, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, you know what to do. Drop a comment, share this video if you want other people to know what you just saw. And do not forget to subscribe because there is more.